Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a brand new week. I'm excited as always. It's Monday. Yes! So, um, friends, I'm here to share a word with you based on a dream that I had on the 18th of February. Um, as always, remember that not every prophetic word is meant for you. Please take it to the Lord if you believe it's meant for you. Pray about it. Have a conversation with Him. Have a nice chat. Yeah, you know the Lord always loves to hear from us, so it's a good way to get things going in that department. So, friends, I just want to start off by reading a scripture before I get into the word. This is Matthew 7 verse 7 to 11, and I'm reading from the New Living Translation. Keep on asking, and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking, and you will find. Keep on knocking, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. Everyone who seeks, finds. And to everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. You parents, if your children ask for a loaf of bread, do you give them a stone instead? Or if they ask for a fish, do you give them a snake? Of course not. So if you sinful people know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give good gifts to those who ask Him? Praise the Lord. What a beautiful, beautiful scripture, friends. So what the Lord showed me in this dream is that there are many things that the Lord has in store for you, my friend. So friends, this word is for those of you who are in your new season. You have started to walk things out. You started to see um, things tangibly come to pass in your life. You can see some doors have been opened. You've... Um, you can see you've been given access to some of those new things that the Lord has been speaking to you about. Um, and um, what God was showing me in this dream is that He has many things in store for you. He has a lot in store for you. But it's not just um, any particular thing that this particular word is referring to. In this word, God wanted me to specifically focus on the things that He promised you a long time ago. Dreams that you had as a child. Things that you um, thought were worthless, that you didn't, that you haven't brought into your new with you, that you don't think you have an opportunity for them, that you have buried a long time ago. God is saying that He is opening up the way for you to go through here, for you to experience these things, for you to live this, um, these these things out so what he showed me is that these things are of high quality because they are from him they are precious because they are from him they still have the value that they had when you first dreamed them up when you first thought of it many years ago they're still there waiting for you to grab a hold of and god is saying he is bringing a lot of you into the section of your provisions where there are things that you have buried that you had forgotten that you had let go of things that you don't even know um he has for you but they are from they're from the foundation from the very beginning, He said that you were going to have this. So God is saying, He's giving you access to them. For some of you, you've already started to um, see some of these come, see some of these things come to pass. You have been given access to them, but it's almost as if something is now standing in your way. There's a blockage. There's something preventing you from going further, from really going deep into this thing and really exploring it and um, experiencing the fullness of it. And God says, don't give up. These things are yours. They have always been yours. They are waiting for you. No one else is going to take them. So they're yours, don't give up. If you find yourself in a position where you've started to walk a certain path, things have started to open up, and then all of a sudden, there's just dead ends. There's just blockage. Um, it's just an attack of the enemy. It's just the enemy trying to derail you, trying to discourage you, trying to make you feel like it was never meant to be. What were you thinking? He's going to put all these thoughts into your mind, or try and put thoughts into your mind, like... This was too good to be true. 
you know you've tried this before and it never worked out before why do you think it'll work out now God is saying don't listen to that do not give up he says that he will make a way for you he says there's already a way that's been made you just need to change your perspective turn around look ask God for guidance he will show you a different way. It's already there. It's not like he has to make it happen. It's already there. And he's saying once you um, trust him and walk in faith as, as he is leading you um, with the way that he's already made for you, that is already there, then you will realize, um, not even realize, then the blockage will be lifted. It will just disappear. It will be gone. You will see this. You will realize it. You will actually see that you have Access, full access to these things these very specific things that the Lord has for you that are from um, these are dreams that you had when you were much younger they the things that he established a long time ago in your heart and they are of a high quality they are of high importance they are they're very integral in you moving forward in all the things that the Lord has for you so once you walk in faith and trust him and, and go this new way that he's showing you because you're experiencing this blockage, but he's already given you a way of escape, a way to get around things, to maneuver your way in this place, um, then you will see that you have full access to everything. You are able to pick and choose. You're able to make choices. You're able to um, take what you want when you need it. And... Um, all the blockages are gone, but it takes a step of faith for you to believe and trust the Lord. It takes, um, there are battles that um, may come your way, that will come your way, where you have to be still and let the Lord fight the battle. You just spend your time praying and trusting the Lord, whether you have to fast or just be in a place of silence and stillness. Then there are battles where you have to speak, where the word of your mouth will bring things to fruition, where you, the words of your mouth will remove blockages. You have to literally battle the devil with your words, where you tell him, no, this is mine. He may push back and say, no, it's not. And you say, no. It is mine and you cannot have it and you have to keep doing it until you see that thing come to pass. Do not give up. Don't let him discourage you and make you feel like you're just speaking into the air and it's not getting anywhere. Every time you speak, you are dealing a severe blow to the devil. And you have to speak the word. You have to speak what the Lord plants into your heart to speak. Search the scriptures for words to counter what he's saying to you. And when a thought comes that counters the words that you're speaking, then, then you have to cancel that thought. Use more words to cancel the thought and rebuke the devil and say, no, that thought is a lie. It is not the truth and this is the truth. And you go and you speak that truth out. And God is saying that for this blockage to be lifted, this is the battle that you have to fight. You have to speak out the words. You have to um, just speak your truth over the situation. Your truth as God has given it to you, the dream as he has given it to you. Friends, I've had to live this out recently. I have a testimony in that regard and I will be putting up a testimony video. It's just time has, hasn't been on my side, but um, I'm so glad for a new week. Um, a lot of things that I was doing last week came to an end and they were wrapped up beautifully. So I'm able to now focus on um, a lot more things so I will be sharing a testimony soon but I've had to do this recently I have had to stand up and fight guys it was so bad that I would say something and then a call would come in and everything would be okay and then all of a sudden a just hours later another call comes in and it's like no it's not okay anymore and then I would know speak 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 cancel the plans and the lies of the enemy I had this the entire week last week where it was just back and forth but I said I'm not giving up by the end of the week I was laughing and praising the Lord because of just the, the way the devil was just so desperate to try and get me to believe his lies and I just refused and things worked out friends things worked out so beautifully but I'll go into an in-depth um, uh, story in another video about that it's a really cool testimony friends so the Lord is saying fight for your thing 
Don't let the devil steal from you. Do not let him lie to you. So friends, we've come from a, a place, um, many years of not having access to things, um, not being able to do the things that we want to do. And friends, God is doing a new thing. And when he says he's doing a new thing, I've mentioned this in a previous video, it is brand new. He's not going to do anything like the way he used to do it. That was for a different time, a different season, a different lesson. It was wilderness stuff. Now he's doing a new thing. And he is saying everything that he has for you, for your life, in order for you to fulfill your purpose on this earth, for you to um, be justified in your existence of why you were created, He has given you access to everything. Your options are open. It is there for the taking. It is there for you to take and to walk with and run with. You just have to understand what it is that you need to do in order to grab a hold of it, in order to make it tangible, in order for it to manifest, whether it's speaking out the truth and countering every lie and every evil thought that the devil may try to bring to you, or whether it's standing in a quiet place and trusting the Lord you have to be close to him in order to understand what action you need to take you need to be close to him in order to hear what he's saying to you you have to exercise discernment and test the spirits and see what exactly is happening and is this a blockage or is this the Lord um, pausing things for me while something else needs to happen you know, for me, with this testimony that I'm going to share with you, I thought, no, this is the Lord. Let me just be patient and keep quiet. And as I began to share what was happening to me with very specific people in my life, what I suspected in my spirit, which was that this is warfare, but I didn't want it. I didn't want it to be warfare. I just wanted it to be God saying, just hold on. And it actually wasn't. It was warfare. These two people said, you need to fight for that thing. You cannot sit back and let the devil steal from you. And when I started doing that, I saw, I just saw this back and forth in the spirit. And I was like, wow, this is real and this is happening. And it's up to me whether I win this or not. I can back down and be like, oh, this is going on too long. The whole week I've been fighting for this thing. Or I can say, I'm not giving up and I'm going to push and I'm going to fight. So friends, it's so important to know that you have been given everything. You have access to all that the Lord has ever promised you. It is up to you to fight for it. It is up to you to pray and ask the Lord for guidance in how to fight for it. And obviously God has his timeline on when things will happen. That's why we need to be close to him. That's why we need to uh, discern and use wisdom and not just you know expect everything to happen at once. But... But recognize when the devil is trying to block you, when he's trying to stop you, when he's trying to discourage you and trying to steal from you. Okay, that's what the Lord is saying, that he has everything ready for you. Um, and you will know as you walk in faith with him, what you're fighting for now is this and what the next thing you're going to fight for is. So walk with him and stay close to him. This is a very key thing in this new season to always stay close to the Lord. There's never going to be a time where... Um, you're just going to go about on your own path. You're just asking for trouble. You always have to remain close to him and let him speak into your life and to give you direction. Friends, I've got some scriptures that I'd like to share with you. The first one is Mark 11 verse 24 and I'm reading from the Passion Translation. This is the reason I urge you to boldly believe for whatever you ask for in prayer. Be, be convinced that you have received it. Be convinced. Be convinced. It's a mind thing. Be convinced. And the best way to convince your mind is to speak the truth. When the lies of the enemy enter your head, you say, no, refuse them, refuse them. And be convinced you, that you have received it and that it will be yours, friends. In John 14, verse 13 to 14, this is the NIV, it says, And I will do whatever you ask in my name, this is Jesus speaking, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. Jesus says, you may ask me, you may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. 
This is so that the Father may be glorified, friends. It's not even about <laughs> us at the end of the day. It's so that the Father may be glorified. What a beautiful scripture. Um, and friends, <laughs> as much as these scriptures are beautiful, and this is an invitation from Jesus himself saying, ask me, ask me and I'll make it happen. Believe it and it'll happen. There is a condition to the asking. And I'm going to read um, John 15 verse 7 to 8. Um, and, and I mean, the condition is, so, is, is such a simple condition. It needs no toiling and no spinning. And the scripture reads as follows. If you remain in me and my words remain in you. That's the condition, friends. If you remain in me, if you remain in Jesus and his words remain in you. Ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. This, friends, is to my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. So friends, there you have it. That old mindset of maybe it'll happen, maybe it won't, maybe it's not the right time, whatever. All those maybes and um, all the false um, modesty and no, I can't, you know, I just need to, you know, keep my life simple and be modest and no, friends. God didn't call us to, um, to, to a life less than. He called us to an abundant life. Jesus came that we may have an abundant life. And, you know, there's so much tied into that in terms of character. So it's not just about having this abundant, lavish life. It's about your heart. What is it that you're going to do with the things that the Lord is giving you? Is this for God's glory? Are you going to glorify the Lord with the things that he has given you access to? What is going on in your heart? Are you ready for these things? And for a lot of you, you are. That's why this word is so important at this time for you to understand that there is an enemy trying to steal from you and he is going to He's going to be persistent. You have to be even more persistent than he is. You have to be. You have to persist until he backs down. Do not accept the lie, even though it may seem like it's really just like it's that like, like nothing can be done. Think about Mary and Martha when Lazarus had died. For them, it it was a it was over. He was dead. They had buried him. They had accepted it. But Jesus came to show them that. Even something that is that appears as though it is dead, like there's no chance, there's no way he can resurrect even that. He can bring that back for you. He can redeem it for you. So friends, don't let the devil steal from you. Okay, God has opened up the doors. He's giving you access. He is um, showing you a way out where there's blockages. He's giving you a way and he's expecting you to uh, walk in faith and to trust him. In this time so that you may have access to everything and don't let your old habits old beliefs make you feel like you can't have it all you can have it all you just need God to guide you through it okay friends that's the word I have for you today thank you so much for being here for all your support for the wonderful comments friends I'm so grateful for everything and thank you for the prayers specifically really really grateful for the prayers I, I it's just such a beautiful thing to be able to pray for one another even though i sit here on youtube and i put out all these videos to know that um we're praying for one another to see people write stuff in the comments and have someone else respond to that comment praying for them it's like thank you lord thank you thank you thank you lord because that way we're all sharing the burden we're sharing the walk we are standing together in unity and walking with each other hand in hand so friends remember that you serve a good wonderful loving father who loves you so deeply and you are so so special to him i had a a rough weekend i had a very busy week last week and a very um yard was so busy that by the time I was done with everything um, late on Saturday, I just switched off. I zoned out. Um, I watched five episodes of something on Netflix. 
because I just didn't want to think, I didn't want to connect, I didn't, I just, I just, I just zoned into, I just went into a zone. Um, and I haven't done that in a long time. And I know that a trigger for me is just being too busy, being too tired. Those are straight up triggers for me to get into a place where I just switch off and I don't want to connect and I want to go into another world where it's someone else's life that I'm looking at. Um, and then Sunday came and also I had a few things to do and uh, just, you know, by the end of the day, everyone's in bed and I'm up late and just like, hi Lord. I totally ignored you this weekend and he said I, I I was there I've always been there you may have ignored me but I was there and I love you still and you're accepted you're loved and you're forgiven he said all of that before I even said anything and <laughs> and obviously I'm still feeling guilty like oh okay but I'm sorry and you know I, oh, oh oh you know and then I remembered some songs that I used to listen to, that my sister and I used to listen to when we were young children. And I remember thinking, you know, Lord, I've really been wanting to find these songs for a long time. And then he said, yeah, Google it. <laughs> so I was like, okay, let me start Googling. I didn't think I would find it, but I found it. And I found the songs on YouTube and I thought, wow, yay, wow, what a gift. It was 12-ish midnight. And God's, guys, this is God's grace. Like, my Monday was starting and I was feeling guilty for zoning out the whole weekend. And he said, welcome to a new week. I love you, I'm here for you. And here are the songs that you've been looking for for all these years. And the first song I listened to, <laughs> just, it, it, it was just God speaking. It's, it goes as follows, these are kids songs, hey, like, but it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter because it really hit me in the heart. It says, I'm accepted, I'm forgiven, I am fathered by the true and living God, I'm accepted, no condemnation. I am loved by the true and living God. There's no guilt or fear as I draw near to the Savior and Creator of the world. There is joy and peace as I my worship to you, O Lord. Simple song. Exactly what I needed to hear in that moment. That's just God. That's just how much He loves us. And how much He just wants us to know that He's always there, no matter what. So friends, I, I don't know, I think that was for someone. I had to share that. Um, yeah, I had to share that.